Hello my diecast friends! Welcome to a new episode of diecast hunting in Europe. And we are in Belgium at a place called Gimmick. And you can buy two things here. You can buy a swimming pool. But the main reason I'm here is because they have a lot of diecast cars. Let's go inside. See what they got. First, I'm going to do an overview and then you can see how big it is. So here we got the swimming pool section. And here, all the way to there, and even a little bit to the left, it's all die-cast cars. So that is pretty cool. Check this out. I already see some American diorama, some figures. I see Norath. I see Nex. Let's go over here. Oh! I see some A Team action figures. I think it's from the last movie. Yes, this is what we want to see. Super cool. Whoa, check this out. The Goliath. And the King Kong 118 scale. First time I see them. This is a big store, right? <laughs> wow. And it goes all the way to there. So let's start over there. And then we go all the way to the beginning. I think I have to do uh, a couple of parts because this store is so big. So um, let's say this is part one. And we see some race cars over here. From Hot Wheels. One eighteen skill. This is from Mini Champ. And including a figure. And when it has a figure, it's a must have. Mm, this store also has a, a website and of course I will leave a link in the description as well a link to the location of the store and a link to my Instagram where you can find more pictures of this store. Ooh, I love this one from Mini Champ. Check this orange one. Looks really good. Got some 118 Volvos over here. Oh, this is a cool one. I love this model. <laughs> it's always weird seeing this figure in this position. You. We got a winner. Got some more mini champ Volvos over here. Okay, let's go. Yes. Nice Jack from Auto Arts. McLaren P1 from Auto Art. Is it possible to see it? No, it's not. Hmm. Wow.
with sealed body shell. Okay, let's see. See some more interesting cars over here. And I'm already on my knees making sure that you guys are getting the best view of everything they got here. They also have a lot of uh, construction machines. Yeah, I'm gonna film that later. I know I have a couple of viewers who really like construction machines. Well, today is your day. What do we have here on top? It is always interesting to look on top on the shelves. They have a lot. Okay. Got some very nice Lamborghinis from Auto Art. I'm actually looking for the 118 skill Diablo GTR from Auto Art. I'm not a big fan from, uh, or not a big fan. I really like those Run 18 skills, but don't have enough room at my home. But that model was absolutely fantastic. And I think it's also very rare. With sealed body shell. Or like we say in Dutch, a rolkooi. Stretching out. One forty three bus from Norav. Wow, it's a beautiful piece. Fortunately, we don't see it that well because of the reflection. And the owner is also a collector himself. And that is most of the time the reason someone starts a store like this. A nice Aston Martin. Uh, Fiat Abad. One in a different color. Over here, got some American muscle power. I'm not sure if they are shipping uh, worldwide, but I think you can find that on the website. Legends. Ooh. 
was very early this morning to get here on time. I have to drive two hours to get here. But it is definitely all worth it. And the owner was very nice to uh, Oh, I see something cool. The owner was very nice to uh, put the music out or off. So I don't get any trouble with copyright. And you guys can hear the in-store sounds, which I think is very important to get the feeling you actually are in the store shopping with dude. Very nice display. And it gives you the chance to see the models very well. I always like that. Another winner. You see they have also a lot of Formula One cars. cool got some figures here on the motorbike hey even some NASCARs cool oh a nice diorama I love these dioramas we got some figures to build your own diorama for a pit stop Champs, Porsches, got one from Solido, more auto art, here we got some more Porsches, stunning, oh I like this one, from G Spark. Maybe it's in the display stand. We'll see. Would be cool. Cult skill models. Yeah, we can even see it from above. Nice interior. Nothing wrong with a good old classic. I'm going to make a lot of photos here for my Instagram. What we got here? Hmm. Oh, I see a nice Land Rover over there. And I know on Instagram that Land Rover Holland starts the hashtag Little Land Rovers. So you can make a picture of a Land Rover model you have in nature or in your living room. And you can use the hashtag little Land Rovers and you get a place on the website of Land Rover if I'm right but 
some more American power over here. Um, what is this? Fastest car in the world. I think uh, not so long ago a woman died breaking the record. It's a very risky job. The Bond collection, wow. Check this out. 2060 pieces and this is 202. The Aston Martin. Got another one from the Bond collection. Here another one. Martini racing truck. I'm always worried. It is my biggest nightmare that I bump into something and then the whole thing collapse. I think that's going to be a video with a lot of views <laughs> but it's not the views I want <laughs> I think if that is happening I'm not welcome anymore in other places okay let's start over here again where I was I had the Volvos I believe yes okay so we go over here Beautiful Lamborghinis. I had a few comments of people who were saying, You only film the stuff you like. You don't think of other people. <laughs> well, it is a little bit true. I film the stuff I like, the cars I like. Like this one. But I think there are also a lot of people who like this Audi. Not the only one. And yes, I'm making the video, so I'm in charge. But trust me, I try to film as much as possible. Like this one here from my friend Mick67. Because I know he has a big escort collection. Cars. Beautiful Alpine from North. It's a great model actually from the Alpine. Oh, this one is also very nice. Citroën SM. Hey. We even have some CQ black line over here. Okay, let's go over here because they also have some tractors. Mm, no, wait a minute. I think I'm doing a episode with the tractors and the construction machines. Yes, that is a good idea. So we got some pickup trucks over here. Porsches. Nice buggy. Toys for boys. Uh, the Mercedes. Oh, and even one in camo. Dude, his favorite color. Camouflage. 
I recently ordered a, a bony Vietnam hat on eBay. So who knows in the next face review I'm wearing a bony Vietnam hat. <laughs> Probably not. I bought it for the beats. I'm a ginger so I have to be careful with the sun. Oh, my girlfriend's going to hate it. <laughs> ah, bony head. <laughs> Look at this 4GT, man. Totally sick. And what do you guys think? Look at this. Look at this beautiful display stand. I mean, if you walk in the stores with a lot of diecast cars, this is perfect, right? And look how many they got. This is definitely worth a visit. If you're living in Europe or you're living in the United States or in the UK and you're going to Europe for a Dicas tour, contact me and I'll give you all the good places to go. And like I said before, I'm even think about, thinking about of doing a Dicas tour with a couple of my uh, viewers. You know, we rent a van. And then we go seeing all these beautiful stores. That would be awesome. Couple of days in the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany. Or we rent a bus. And we go with a, with a bunch of people. Like 20 or 30. Fantastic ride right? these cars. Hmm. Now I'm seeing this uh, diorama. I'm not sure if it's for sale. I don't think so. But uh, I also bought uh, two dioramas. And I'm going to do a review about it. Wow. It's a 164 diorama both actually and they are uh, pretty cool so I think when I uh, post this video that I'm doing now the video about the diorama is already on my YouTube channel some American muscle power Okay, let's go over here. We got some Oxford. Um, uh, David Jones. I'll check it, but I'm not the diecast expert. Chasing diecast cars is the diecast expert. But you asked if the Oxford is making 164 uh, models. And now I see this one because I said no, but now I see this one. I'm not sure. Is this a 164? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm? It's a boat mini. But I looked it up on their website and it doesn't show any 164 model. So, but like I said, I'm not a diecast expert. I'm just the dude that going to stores like this. And film everything they got. Oh, this is a cool piece. And this is terrific for uh, hashtag little Land Rovers. There in the back we got a Landy of Land Rovers. Got some old circus truck. Been there. Cheese park over here. Okay. 
Let's see. Oh, some sweet Testarossa. From the brand Elite. Hot Wheels. I wonder if these Hot Wheels are popular. Got some more Hot Wheels over here, Hot Wheels Elite. Nice FX6. And I see that I'm almost busy for uh, half an hour. And we only had a small part of this store. Do not open the boxes. We help you to do it. Sick, sweet Testarossa. The last one I saw was half a year ago in uh, Knokke, Knokke, Belgium, a place close to my house and in this place you can see a lot of great cars. We have a Bentley garage, we have a Porsche garage and actually I ordered the uh, Marioretta gift bag with the new Porsches, the new Marietta gift bag with the Porsches and I wanted to make some photos from the castings at the Porsche garage and of course I'm doing a review on my YouTube channel Oh, nice McLaren How does the McLaren sound when he drive by? Okay, guys, um, next video is also about this tour. Like I said, it is too big for one video, so I have to do a couple of parts. This is part one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time at a new episode of Diecast Hunting in Europe. Have a good day, guys. Bye.